Okay. Exclusive contents. Order the Altair out Altair outfit equipped from the Captain Cabin or General Store to learn more about Altair, visit Assassin's Creed initiates. Okay, redesign menu. Okay, fingerprint. New game. What do you mean Abstergo? What do you mean Abstergo? Who's the protagonist? Sorry, that's a bit too loud. Come on, move it, move it. Fire, something. Steel, swivel gun, aim. That's what I wanted. Just aim and shoot. Okay, now that I have the shift wheel, what are we doing? Speed ahead. Something? No? What the hell's going on? Excuse me, what's wrong? You don't need to survive against all odds and all attacks. Yeah, great. What do I do? As well, can we? Born on 1693, Wales died 1735, England. Edward James Kenway was born on 10th of March in Swansea, Wales, to Bernard Kenway by Manchester and Leonid Hopkins of nearby Cardiff. By Edward's 10th birthday, his father had moved the family to a small farm just outside Bristol, a nearby port town in the southwest of England. Note, not sure a Welsh leading man would be interesting, and we do ADR to replace his voice. Another great actor from London who'd be perfect speak, speaks in gravelly RP accent. This location had a depressing effect on young Edward's mood. He grew restless from a lack of contact with old friends and struggled to find an outlet for his limitless energy. By his teens, he was spending more and more time <coughs> in the city away from his farm, for the lure of excitement of old prudence. By age 16, he had substituted the career of a successful farmer for a life of hopeless tomfoolery, frequently shirking his responsibilities firmly in favor of rough company. Damn, that's long. 
okay, move. Move. Do something. I don't get it. What was I supposed to do? Okay, I'm moving. Our helmsman's dead! Someone take the wheel! Kenway! Take the bloody wheel! Oh, now we're doing something. If I were the cannons, hold aim and move to aim, then press left click to shoot. Shoot the hull for maximum damage. I think the enemy ships. Fire! Reload, reload, reload. Nice, we can aim up and down. Uh, fire swivel. <laughs> I can't see. Damn! No, can't aim. Fire! That's the only swim, do you? Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Yes. Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A few months. Maybe a year, a year I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Sure. <coughs> breathe. Oh, don't breathe. <sighs> I am swimming faster. I thought I was swimming faster. It's supposed to be the privateer. It's a great legendary thing. Empty your boots. Why do you think you're out of danger? <laughs> The assassin. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. 
Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esculos. Let's stop with Keep water. talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? I'm on to you, Snigsby! How about water? Does anyone have any water? Come on, mate! We're off to a bad start! Come on. Don't run away. What is this place? <clears throat> Oh, right, I can climb this thing, right? Like... <coughs> like Connor could. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? I think it's a bit dropping. Let's knock it down a few notches. Still not smooth. Would you run off there? <laughs> Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you! Ooh, you'll kill me, huh? I sure am not gonna die first. We could work together on this! Yeah, 
Yes, yes, I'm running, I'm running. Senor Duncan Walpole. Walpole! I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, mm. el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. So you just killed the Walpole. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Find a way to Havana. That schooner will do me just fine. Can't I climb down these? Oh, that thing? Kingston, where the common... This can be used as stalking zone. They allow you to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach targets stealthily. This lover's ship follow. Sorry, uh, Kingston? No, no, our destination is Havana. I'm a merchant. Quiet, you have to bleed him, pirate. You'll hang for the mess you made out there. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. That's a huge turtle. Hold it! Stop them! What? Give me one reason I shouldn't vent your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Oh, that's hidden. I'll pay you! Anything you like! Oh god! Oh god! Where are you? Come on. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! <laughs> oh, no, I'll pay you! Anything you like! Give me a minute to clear things up around here. Oh god! Oh god! Turtle. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Nothing? No, no, I'll pay you! Anything you like! Oh god! Oh god! No, nothing? Take my sugar! Take anything you like! No, you don't like my whistling? No, no, 
I'll pay you! Anything you like! Oh god! Oh god! Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Anything you like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Relax, dude. God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. Well, I've I do. been pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Um, okay. Are you ready? Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Okay, let's Hardly go. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Oh, he's swimming too. Cool. Didn't take you for a swim, though. Oh, oh, this, this is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Okay, let's see what she's got. Let out some sail! Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Yeah, this is nice. Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. <laughs> the raw stink of... of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who'd turn his back on a keg of rum. Uh -huh. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Crowded all on! Oh. Woo! 
Fail. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Fantastic work. Very promising. What? Heels aren't born. All right. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. Mm -hmm. That's it. Down. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Let's get you up. Um, so, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Okay. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Hmm. Since you released the liberation? Sounds confusing. Oh, it's possible. Maybe you saw liberation? Yeah. That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon, c'était prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Um, okay. Wanting me to follow you, I you guess. might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Cool. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So? This is the Sample 17 floor. 
We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. Oh, We're really? pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. Code. I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Code. Code. Hang on a minute. Code. Can I even scan that thing? Is it legible enough? Scan a code. QR code reader? No. I want you to search for a code. <sighs> okay, maybe another time. That's a thing. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. What? Extra neural what? Really? Welcome to Havana. Welcome to Havana. Yeah, this is not an engine. At least not in my engine. Ah, uh, <laughs> lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. Havana, Cuba, July 1715. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could... I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. In case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> that little place that they looks don't so take familiar. kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Oh, the other for reals. Got it. Hola, ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them. No, goodness no, I'm a, I'm a married man. A married man of their forte, mate. Is that the guy who played Constantine? Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. 
<laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty raise is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. Little store. Sword sets. British cutlasses. I must have a thousand. Escape should go back. Uh, so small swords. One, two, one, two, three, two. I guess. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puff and duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. Come on, this looks climbable. No, down. There we go. I think I see the place. Ah! We're not no, far. Not the resistance got him blown. Para, para. Hang tight. Oh, he's got me blind. Go, go. What do I do? Oh, I can't breathe. Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Well, where did we go? Where did we go? Oh, come on. You didn't really I'm have close to at heel, shitbird. <laughs> You'll sing like a pirate, huh? Here I come. Don't make me chase you into the harbor! You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. I'll take that so you won't hurt yourself. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Si fuera él, mantendría eso guardado. Got your sword, mate. Duncan! By Jove, you're alive! Of course I am. That filter is no fuss. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah! We've arrived. Run for all. <laughs> uh, uh, Take your time, I'll be just here. Fancy meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? You bastard! Hey, I warned him. <laughs> oh, you want to do it like that, huh? You want to dust up? I'll give you one. Come on. Come on. Oh, 
Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a bird. Grab and throw. Counter and wound. Counter and knockout. One more. Come on. Fuera de la carretera. Yes, it's all done. Corre. You're not leaving me. I'll catch you up. Perro inglés. Um, smoke bombs. Incapacitate enemies for a few seconds, allowing you to escape or kill easily. No, run. No, no, rendimos fácilmente. Eh, ¿dónde te crees que vas? Esa rata está a tiro. Enemigo a tiro, señor. No lo perdáis de vista. Parece un poco peligroso. Incomplete. But I did tackle the pickpocket. I did tackle the pickpocket. I don't get it. Information panel. Mm -hmm. Old inspect current information panel. Okay. Hello, Havana. Now what do we do? Hi. Thanks. Kenway, isn't it? I'm with you. Yeah, I hope you would. Challenge completed. I'm in the middle of nowhere, apparently. Okay, go east for this, this few points. Twenty bombs. Thoughts. Good thing I don't understand Spanish. Oh, this is the building. Finger of fish hook, huh? Ugh. No. Ugh. 
Okay, it might be too bright in here. Test level unlocked. Havana available. A manuscript. General store. Empty. Oye, te hemos echado de menos. Creía que habías desertado. Oh, there is a mission icon on the map. Why is the camera shaking? Oh god. I'm not gonna be able to play this for long. Wait, do I see a box? What is it? There it is. Alto ahí. Estás muerto. Whoa. Did not expect that one. Like a stall. Cover some distance when he jumps. <coughs> okay, I thought you were gonna slide down the ladder, but okay. Quieto ahí! Hey, para! Are you sure you want to? Okay, let's do this. Damn, that's vicious. Okay. Oops. Excuse me. Why is the pier so well constructed? I needed the wash. You feel it? Sugar? Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. <sighs> oh, Damn. Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar when your dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Having the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? 
We'll see what happens. Eagle Vision allows you to spot interesting elements, it highlights animals and enemies in red, and targets and objectives in gold. While using the Eagle Vision you can tag up to 10 enemies or animals by just looking at them. Once tagged, the enemy can be seen through walls, even when you stop using Eagle Vision. Cool. You don't mind me tagging along, do you? I'll dance. Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. It. I believe I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> Quiet. I fear they're onto us. Hang back. Oh, perhaps we should split up to confuse them. The best idea you've had today. Conditions are illegal until you get the detection. They will attack you when the action of them is full. Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. See, si, uh, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. Um, I need to move. This would be Captain Mendoza. Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you. Only he must be present for a, a, a hanging. Hanging. Oh, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may go. If you like. <laughs> I'd love to. Especially if Captain Mendoza's been trapped. Man owes me money for the slaves I sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have goods to sell, sugars and such. Excellent. Te recomiendo. Esto acabará pronto. señor. The hang will be seen soon. Let's not dilly dally. Yes, sir. We go. No, I'm, I'm running, I'm running. Alto! Quiero hablar contigo. Hanging tape, man. I don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. Quick as anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want the alleys, mind. I want goods, things I can sell, tobacco, rum, sugar. <laughs> see, si, see, si. we have much fine sugar. Great, we took off a fat Englishman last night. Englishman. 
por el delito de sí. botín contra Sugar tu from Barbados. El tribunal de sentencia a morir en la horca. The man started the fight last night. He ran, left his sugar behind. Very fine. Let's yeah. start. Shall I accompany him to the Castillo? No, sir. Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres' man. Como rechazamos sus inconsistentes avances, recurrieron a un peor instinto. Sus ciudades no hacen más que perjudicar nuestro negocio. No, el barco de último, lo último que... Apenas si... <laughs> Punching people out of the way. Por el modo en que actuaban, era cuestión de tiempo que alguien los pusiera en su sitio. Y no me sabe más decir. ¿Cómo podría aliviar mi soledad? Ooh. I'm holding. Puedes venir conmigo. All yours. No olvides Loot the captain's key also works. Hey, you didn't say stay out of combat until now. Got those, and I'm told to avoid combat. Okay, then I'll take the chest some other time. Hang, hang. Okay. Eh, hey, tú, detente. What? Tu vida ha terminado. Okay. Uh, reload. Nada después 
esperando que la descargue, pero tendría que hacer sitio Let's en el patio. Try that again. Alto, esto acabará pronto. Tengo un disparo claro. Intento despistarnos. Ow. Lo tengo a tiro. Está rodeado. Se está yendo. Come on. No. Seriously. Okay. That'll work. Fragment? What fragment? Oh, hi. <laughs> Not in combat. Okay. How do I do this? I can't whistle. Ah. Ow. Come on, climb it. Well, the stairs. Ignite. Ignite. Sure, let's see what happens. Um. 
uh, with the loss. <laughs> yeah, you can just take the sugar. about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no. No, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. I stayed out of combat. Mostly. One second. Matt Ryan. Yes, it's Matt Ryan. I was right. It is Matt Ryan. I love Matt Ryan. Okay. Great pick for the role. Wait. That's a fragment. At least they're not hidden anymore. <coughs> Where am I going? <coughs> Wait. Why is that ship highlighted? This ship. 
Oh, there is a box. There is a shanty. Well, what? I saw something. So, what is this? A jackdaw. What? This isn't a jackdaw. The shanty is moving. Okay. I guess that's how it works this time. Oh my god, the screen is shaking so much. I'm going to find mods for this game. See if there's anything. I pulls this. Awfulness. The shanty is up there. Catch and loot the courier. I don't see any courier. Well, what? Where's it going? I hate these chasers. Oh, general store. This is the general store? Tackle the target. What? Where did he go? From the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hardy. Thank you. You seem cool. No, general store. Oh. Ammunition, smoke bombs, full pieces of art. Bat nosed figurine, what the hell is all of this? Sell cargo, you have nothing to sell. The hunting goods. Why hunting goods? Outfits. That can, nay, must be judged by the number and quality of the pistols he carries. Spanish cup, hilt, rapier. Three two, two three two. Rapiers or cutlasses? Let's save money. In otro momento, no hay prisa. What's with the skull and cut? Sí. Oh, simple. Entonces, el mismísimo diablo les vació las orejas. Contracts. Stay out of combat. Have you looking for the Templar? Okay. That's an Asian target. Wait, there's a sink point.
What's that? What's that? Hang on a second, let's test the dog cam. Dog cam. This is the dog. What's that? What's that? Such a cute dog. <laughs> okay. Okay, assassin contracts. Target location. Locate target. Kill target. Avoid combat. Too bad the hidden blade will block him. Excuse me. Hello. I will got you. Damn it! I want. I want this perfect. No, I want. I want. Um. Um. Reload. You don't see me, I'm hiding. There's a sink point inside that hot fireplace, which I'm gonna go into right now. Mr. Walpole, I presume. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? Asesino. 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 Sí. Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos, franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más... <risa> Llévame, señor Tamar. Sé indulgente con él. Oh, finally. The governor's mansion was constructed at the cost of square in... Uh, the governor's mansion housed the acting Spanish governor in addition to prison facilities. A new governor's mansion was constructed at the cost of square in 1791. Note, in addition to prison facilities, what? No pool? Castillo San Vado de la Punta. Part of system fortifications built to protect Havana Bay from incursions by French corsairs. 
Lotus was begun in 1590 and took decades to complete. Lotus is close enough to the nearby Castilla Moro to permit a heavy iron chain to be extended between them that could be tightened to block incursions by enemy ships. Basilica Menor de San Francisco de Assis, a dominating presence on Havana Plaza de San Francisco. The Basilica Manor de San Francisco de Assis dates from 1580s. Originally a statue of St. Francis of Assisi stood atop the bell tower, but this was blown off in a cyclone in 1846. Baroque features were added to the Basilica in 1730. Note, perfect for us, striking, historical, yet authentico. They use it for concerts nowadays. Incredible acoustics. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Dr. Walpole? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you... Devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. Mm. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. What are we doing? You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots, if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine pistols. <laughs> They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim, sadly. <laughs> right. Has a good kick, yes? I long for the day where my firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. <laughs> I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Oh, Puckle. Magnifique. Puckle, in terms of the Puckle gun. <laughs> Wait, is there any targets? I don't see any other targets. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, okay. hit every target within the allotted time. Uh, I forgot to reload. Ah, bad luck. Try again. Uh, reload. Reload. And program crashed. Your virtual function call. Excellent. But I always wanted. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots, if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> Why can't I? I once fought beside a man who carried nine. Great. You misplaced... 
my options. Apparently just the controls. Okay. Which one is for? This one's for. Shift controls are busted as well. Wivel gun. Stop singing! Mortal My virus They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim, sadly. <laughs> Quite. As a good kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four weapons, and not the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique! Hang on. Hello. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Reload, reload. Rotten luck, eh? What? What? All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. You want those pistols back? Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. You have some? Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> Why are you giving them to me? Two blades, as is the custom, eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your... Techniques. Well, uh, we must. 
We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. Really? It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situation is well suited to your skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose. Just quick and clean. Self assassination. I don't get it. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Yeah, nice tutorial level. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. Really? The we'll advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Uh, Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating. Okay, are we done? The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. Grenada. Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana. I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. <laughs> I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. Let's see. You were expected one week ago. Grandmaster. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but... Not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Hmm. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. 
the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cooled. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Yay. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, he said that. I'm gonna try and kill someone in the meantime, okay? That's the courier. Which courier? You're, You're hiding my map. I hope there's a mod to fix this running. This bloody hurts. Oh, 
Oi, não, para, você saiu. Grazie, my thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. Oh, little loot. Wagman. Crap, really? Come on. Ah. Another shanty. The box over there. Damn, with the blur. Thank you.
Aha. We'll place with a fragment. Let's see if I can get better salt now. Climb 500 meters. Really? That's a thing? Why the hell is that a thing? Pistol sets. Pirate blunderbuss. Lower range, higher stun, higher damage. And the wheel lock. Very high range. Yes. Spanish officer pistol. Ability. Cannon barrel pistols. Project targets on ground. What? Let's buy the wheel lock. No, I don't have any more money. Bienvenido! Adelante! I can hear it. What is it? That's what needed to be done. Fine. Manuscripts. Open the database. Where is the database? Atalanta Fugians from the Atlanta Fugians by Michael Meyer, alchemist and counselor of Emperor Rudolf II, once owned by Peter, Peter Ruckford estate. Chanties, Billy Riley, Derby Ram, Dancers, a relief for women employed in the world's oldest profession, prostitution, five hundred full of coin. Dancers can be employed to distract guards and interfere with ongoing fights. They might also have some incredible stories of their own to tell if only you'd bother to listen. What is this? Who approved this pack of? Drunkards. Pillows flush with arm in the heat of the sun. These drunkards can be useful in a few ways. First, as a blend groups that allow Edward to hide in plain sight. 
And secondly as allies in the event of a scuffle, but remember to bring a bit of coin if you want them to fight alongside you, as these powers won't risk their lives for free. Now these guys are always standing around in tight huddles. Can we find a few who are swinging from chandeliers or slipping under donkeys? Save the pirates! Same place. Hey, tú, espera. Ow. I'll bury your blood for away your chains. Allí, a por él. I got him sighted. That was a nice move. Thanks. Kenway, isn't it? I'm with you. No, no perdáis ahora. How about I get out of here? Uh, just don't focus too hard, okay? You have fun over there. Oh look, another box. How do I see it? Yeah, the wrong place. You're looking for a few good salts, Captain. Hmm. ¿Quieres tomar algo? I'm fuzzy now. We. Oh, that thing. Para, tengo una pregunta para ti. Finally. Lo tengo encañonado. Ni lo sueñes, canalla. Tengo línea de tiro. Idiota. ¿Creías que no te veríamos?
Me ofrezco para reuniones, botaduras de barcos, y funerales. No, there has to be a way. Climb up. And get that thing. Why isn't my assassin contract back again? Let me guess, it's way up there. What are you doing? Climb the thing! Climb the goddamn thing! Oh, there it is. The Voynich Manuscript, Folio South History V. One of the four extant pages of the mysterious Voynich Manuscript stolen from Peter Beckford's collection at some point after 1705, though the manuscript was found in Europe prior to the European discovery of the New World, this image clearly depicts a sunflower, however only found in the Americas at the time. Interesting. Is it that clearly? Bully in the alley. Caroline Scott, born 1691, died unknown. Daughter of Emmett and Elizabeth Scott, Caroline was born in Bristol, England to a prosperous family of merchants and civil servants. Given a modest education by her father, she furthered her own studies in her own way, taking time to read as often as her familiar, familiar duties allowed. Splitting her time between this and helping her mother manage her father's affairs, she grew into a confident and level-headed woman with more skill and intelligence than her situation allowed her to exercise. Caroline first met Edward, Edward Ken Kenway outside the old Shilela in the aftermath of a drunken altercation. The old Shilela. She had arrived to fetch one of her servants and there found Edward escorting the woman from the clutches of one of Bristol's more notorious cats. And for, for his kindness, Caroline agreed to a second meeting on more equitable terms, hardly thinking a romance possible. And yet, against most odds, that is just what happened. Edward and Caroline grew quite close and soon fell in love, much to the dismay of her father. Emmett Scott had already promised his daughter to the son of a wealthy East India Company executive and made his displeasure apparent at every turn. But all his noise was to no avail. Caroline and Edward were married in 1712. Hey, 
Also the tiny pools. Is it morning already? I thought no time has passed. Man, they call the sage. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say! He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Above! On the rooftops! Watch the three finales. They could be anywhere. Hang on, I'll take the rooftops. Mercy. I think that's it. Protect the sage. Where is the sage? Why is he running? Uh, Ow. So detailed. Shot. 
I feel the sage from above. You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. Um Cathedral of Havana, construction of the Cathedral de la Virgin Maria de la Conspección Inmaculada de la Havana was started in 1748 and finished in 1777. Admirizing an example of Baroque aesthetics, the building's obvious asymmetry and curious construction material and coral taken from the ocean nearby make this one of the most unique houses of worship in the world, one of the most iconic landmarks in the West Indies. Note, as much as I love this building, truly music set in stone, we simply can't use it. 1748 is far too late for this virtual experience. Around 1720s would be a more small, rough church rising from drained swampland. Sorry. What? We're selling climbable buildings. We'll, we'll fudge, the, fudge the dates. No, I am on board with fudging the dates. Here at the Abstract Entertainment, beauty before truth. Not for us, John Keats and his tidy odes. Truth is beauty, beauty is truth. People want to see landmarks. Well, will you justify and just shorten the damn name? Governor's prisons. As colonial governments expanded their duties in the West Indies, they often operated in an ad hoc manner. As a result, the improvised use of fortifications as a governor's residence or as a town prison was not unusual. Note, good use of space. Multipurpose. Very green. <laughs> yes, I figured Hang back out. and make this easy on both of us, mate. <laughs> Stop, or I'll need. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. <laughs> With luck. Return myself a governor, and with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. Adios. For you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. Well, I'm getting paid, so good. Can I do the contract now? Can I do a different contract now? Come on. The Spanish commander. Stay out of combat. The military camp set up in Havana's commercial district. Look at the Templar captain of this military reserve. Really? Killing Templars now. Okay. Stay out of combat. What are the options here? The well? <laughs> Do this. That's why I took the long ranged weapons.
Really? Listo para abrir fuego. Idiota. ¿Creías que no te veríamos? Lo tengo encañonado. No nos rendimos fácilmente. No hoisting up anywhere with you, Catamite. I've got a line on him! Five enemy yeah. Thanks. Kenway, isn't it? I'm with you. Shut the stream because I'm already having a headache and I need to find some mods to fix this. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun. Uh, pobre alma. Uh, pobre alma. Uh.